Welcome to the leading global specialist in photovoltaic system technology. Welcome to a new, exciting virtual format. Welcome to Niestetal, Germany, where we create what we call energy that changes. This is SMA Solar Technology AG, introducing our brand new virtual format, Let's Talk Energy, Power On. We thank you for joining us and promise to energize you. is your host, Kimsey van Reischach. Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, dear viewers from across and around the globe. Great to have you with us on this very special day. I would like to welcome you all to Let's Talk Energy Power On, SMA's brand new virtual format, where today we are looking at SMA's highlights for residential and commercial projects. We are coming to you live today from SMA's headquarters in Niestetal, and we are welcome viewers from all over the globe and in the next four and a half hours ladies and gentlemen we have exciting things planned for you we have a panel discussion we're going to talk to experts we have a world premiere and much much more and all of this from the comfort of your own desk my name is Kimsi von Reichach. I'm a freelance moderator and it is my pleasure to accompany you throughout the day today so I would say to, to warm ourselves up a little bit and get started, let's see if this interactive tool is ready to go. We're gonna start the day with a word cloud. As you know, word cloud is you enter one word and we're gonna see it on the screen, see what word is uh, uh, the word that comes up for a lot of you out there. So the question that I'm gonna ask you right now is checking in with you is what do you expect for today? What are your expectations for today? Please type in one word and one word only. And in uh, just a few moments, our word cloud will be forming. I personally have to say I'm very excited. So excited would be the word that I type in or maybe a tiny bit nervous seeing all the things that are happening today. But let's see how you are feeling. So the word cloud should be up in just a few moments. Let's see what it is. Here we are, okay. What do you expect for today? Big information. Well, we're definitely going to have some big information today. Excited and energy for sure. Knowledge. Yes, there will be lots of knowledge coming at you today. Learn also great. There's so much to learn today. We really have fantastic sessions with really, really great presenters lined up for you today. Knowledge. Knowledge is very big. And technology, of course, is also going to play a very, very big part today. And innovation. Yep, innovation and information. So. I've got you covered. We are definitely going to have a lot of that. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, dear viewers from across the globe, let's now move on to our power talk. And Gentlemen, I would like to welcome you to our Power Talk and I would like to introduce you to our guests in the Power Talk. Please welcome the CEO of SMA Solar Technology AG, Dr. Jürgen Reiner. Great to have you here. Good morning, Kimsey, and good morning to everybody around the world. Very happy to have you. How are you doing this morning? Very good, very good. So I'm looking forward to this new event and hope we will cover all the different important aspects. Absolutely. I would also like to introduce you to the Executive Vice President Unit Home and Business Solution, Nick Moorbach. Welcome. Good morning, Kimsey. Good morning, everybody. Good to have you on board. 
And last but not least, we are very excited to have the platform product manager, home and business solutions, Matthias Strippel, with us today. Hey, Matthias, how are you? Hi, good morning. I'm fine. And hello, good morning to everybody around there. Now, ladies and gentlemen, before we uh, dig a little deeper and go into the matrix of SMA, I would like to let you know that after every segment, after every interview, you have the opportunity to ask questions. So um, we're going to start with Jürgen. If you have any questions for Jürgen, uh, please type them in into our interactive area right there, and then we're going to move on down the line. And so if there's anything you ever wanted to ask Jürgen, now is your moment. And with that, Jürgen, I will begin with you. If you look back at 2019 and the first half of 2020, what were the highlights for SMA? Yeah, I must say um, 2019 was a very good year for SMA. We had the possibility to increase our delivered power from roughly 8.5 gigawatt to 11.5 gigawatt, so that's a 35% increase. And um, that is actually corresponding to roughly seven or eight big power stations, so very happy with that. But also very, very good that we could increase the order intake for the large-scale storage and the storage in general. Um, so inverters that go to stationary batteries um, to over one gigawatt. And that's, that's uh, really an increase which we hope to see continue, of course, over the next years as batteries become more and more important for their, for their <coughs> energy transition. Also, Earned M was very successful with um, signing contracts for more than one gigawatt of new operation and maintenance projects, leading us now to roughly four to five gigawatt in total. And um, last but not least, I must say I'm, I'm very, very happy with our endeavor to, to get the customer centricity into the organization and be close to the partners around the world and especially when it comes to software for energy management, but also for um, apps for our customers to take into operation our plants and, and um, of course, look at them daily. And uh, we're very happy that we've launched a new app for, for the installers, the 360-degree app, and um, soon we'll also be launching a new app for the, for the end customer. So if we, if we look at the entire year, um, then we see that um, there's a consolidation ongoing actually in the market. So the big six players have now combined roughly 73% of the um, delivered power worldwide on them. So um, taking roughly 10% more than the previous year, 2018, when it was about 60%. So there's a consolidation ongoing, and you see here on the short chart where, um, the, how the distribution was. And this is, of course, in gigawatt. So if you look in, in euro terms or US dollar or any other currency, then this will be looking much more similar. And yes, you asked about uh, the first part of, of this year. So um, quarter one was very good. We actually were able to, to increase the delivered power by more than 100% towards last year's quarter one. And um, thereafter, of course, we saw a softening of the market due to corona. So quarter two was a little bit softer. But the good thing is actually we do now see orders coming in again and uh, do see that we will have an increase now over quarter three and hopefully a, even an, an upside on quarter four. So looking forward to that. The numbers are looking good. Can you tell us what's the market development in the PV segment? Yes. So if we look at the entire market from 18 to 22, then we see roughly um, a growth of 10 gigawatt per year. So in 18, not on the slide, was uh, 100 gigawatt. And in 22, roughly 140 gigawatts. So we do see this increase um, happening of year on year. Of course, due to corona and other effects in 2020, we will see a decline probably. And our best guess is that it, instead of going to 120 gigawatt, will go back to 100 as in 18, meaning an 18% decline of the, of the market due to corona. And we though think that we have the chance to grow even in this year as SMA. And especially, of course, we do see a good growth over the next year's um, 240 gigawatt, which would then be an 18% growth um, year on year. And especially in the commercial and, and um, residential area, we do see a very good growth there also. So this is promising to look forward to. And what about the market trends and drivers? Yes, um, if, we, if, we look at, if we look at the... Um, um, sorry. I went one too fast. If we look at the total, um, total world, then we do see that the growth will continue 
in a, in a very good fashion. Um, we do see that uh, the green transition the, um, will help, of course, around the world. We do see that it will grow to the roughly 300 gigawatt in 2030. And of course, we have got indirect help, um, for example, by e-mobility. E-mobility will lead to the fact that customers who um, have first bought an electric vehicle might want to add a PV and storage into their home or into their buildings. And therefore, we do see an, an upside actually coming through that. And the same is true for um, green hydrogen. When you really want it green and not gray, then you do want to energize it with uh, clean energy. So, so this will really drive the market um, the coming 10 years. And it all then boils down to actually three effects, and that is um, digitalization, decentralization, and decarbonization. So the big three Ds are around us everywhere when home builders not only are consumers but become more and more prosumers by producing their own energy. And this then leads to the fact that, of course, we will see um, sectors moving together and, and see heating, ventilation, air conditioning to be energized and, and managed together with um, PV and storage, of course, coming in more and more into this regard then as well, as you want to have your, your power from the sun also during night, of course. That leads me up to the next question, which is, of course, an important topic for SMA, so important that we have a session about it later on today, sustainability. Before we open up the forum to the Q&As from you, dear viewers, the last question for you, Jürgen, is what does sustainability mean for SMA? Sustainability is really very, very important for SMA. It has been on the chart from the beginning, from nearly 40 years ago when we founded the company. So um, it has always been in the mind of the people and not only saying that oh, we're in the PV industry so we are sustainable. This is not, the, the, this is not true. If you have um, inverters that are designed for five to ten years, it is not sustainable because you actually do not exploit the, the primary resources from the earth in a good way. You need to be able to have a long lifetime to sustainability, of course, belong happy customers. Um, that's part of sustainability. So we are doing a great deal at SMA. For example, 38% um, of our own power we use comes from our own PV systems. But also the remaining 62%, as we speak right now, are from renewable sources in the, in the vicinity here. But also we make sure that we reduce the power needed for one kilowatt of inverter power we produce. And over the last four years, we were able to reduce this power needed to produce one kilowatt by 63%, which is um, a very big achievement, we think. <coughs> and in total, this leads to roughly 60 million tons of CO2 that are omitted by our inverters in operation per year. And um, last year, 10.5 billion um, lesser environmental damage. So it is something that is very, very important. And as the next steps, we are going into a circular economy, meaning much better using even the material of inverters coming back and putting them into the whole um, cycle again. Fantastic, Jürgen. Let's take a look at this point, ladies and gentlemen, at what Q&As we have coming from you. If you have a question you would like to ask the CEO of SMA Technology, <coughs> Solar Technology AG, Dr. Jürgen Reinhardt, now is your time. And I'm just looking at the screen. We have some questions already. If you're ready, here's the first question. Um, here it is. I have a question to storage systems. Do you think that this trend will go on further? Will it be a driver only for bigger markets or also smaller ones like Turkey, for example? Now, this trend will definitely continue. It is, of course, so that we have seen first the countries that are more like an island from an electrical grid. So UK, um, um, Japan, uh, Korea, South Korea, Australia coming up now. But also more and more countries are actually adopting storage as the penetration of PV gets higher and higher. And uh, we do see that in five years' time, probably more than um, 50, 60, up to 90 percent of all new PV systems will also um, have a storage included directly from the beginning. So this will just grow, and actually on all segments. So it's, it's for residential, for commercial, as well as for large-scale utility applications. This will definitely increase. And for a country like Turkey, this will also come maybe in two, three years, but it will definitely come and stay. The next question, Jürgen, is in regards to Corona. You mentioned it a little bit earlier. How does Corona affect your delivery times? And what actions are you taking to overcome the impact of COVID-19? 
Yeah, so I'm very happy with this question. Um, right now, we do not have any problems in delivering any product anymore. We are on the shortest delivery time um, we can have. And this has been <coughs> like this the, the entire um, last four months. So we, we were actually always able to produce. We do not have a single infection in the production. And the production is only in, in, in one place. So, of course, we made sure that we separate shifts, we separate lines from each other, made, made sure there's free lunches for the people involved so that there is no um, contamination possibility. And um, we're very, very happy with this result. So, um, no, no delivery constraint whatsoever, but most importantly, also all our people in the company are healthy. And this is, of course, the, the most important um, part of it. And um, happy to take your order. So any order, <laughs> put it in, we will be able to deliver. Place them into the interactive <laughs> area right now. Exactly. <laughs> and um, let's move on to energy management, Jürgen. What are the next steps in energy management? Is your IoT platform NXOS for energy management being further developed? Definitely so. And um, I think you will have different people coming back to that. Um, so NXOS is a platform we have for the entire segments, for all uh, three segments. And uh, this is one of the things I mentioned at the beginning with our focus on customer centricity, user friendliness, but also energy management <coughs> over the sectors for each and every segment. So this is definitely there to stay and you will see a lot of things coming over the next years with improvements when it comes to our softwares and our apps, etc. We got uh, one more question here on our screen, but you only have one minute to answer it. So right. this is going to be the, the added uh, difficulty here. What is SMA doing to work with EV's industry? What is going to be the key aspects to be a leader in this venture? Yeah, so SMA has um, been there very, very early as we've worked with storage, for example, over the last 20 years already. And um, the EV industry, what we're doing there right now is we're having charges for residential space, so charges which work perfectly with our other systems for PV um, and energy management in the home. And that is um, introduced right now into the market. And then as well, of course, we have also a DC charger right now for higher powers if it comes for fleet charging, etc. But more importantly, all this is then integrated into a, a holistic system which has the possibility to do the entire energy management. And this is there to stay. So we have a very high focus on sector coupling as well as um, combining electric vehicle um, loading and charging into this. Fantastic. You still had four seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to cut Jürgen just a little bit short, but we are on a tight schedule here. But the good news is later on today, we have a whole session about electromobility where we're going to talk about exactly that, the holistic approach. Thank you very much, Jürgen. With that, I'll move on to you, Nick. Now, we heard about this situation in general being very complex, okay? Uh, for example, the digitalization of energy. Can you tell us how is SMA positioned here? So, as Jürgen said, uh, Kimsey, the 3Ds are uh, extremely relevant within our industry. You know, we're coming from today as which is even in the transition phase heavily uh, from, a, from a central power generation with big plants, gas, coal, nuclear powered into a world which is highly decentral. So this is the first D. And the reason for that of the decentral world is usage of renewables and doing and getting the decarbonization done. So renewables, wind, solar, are key in that, uh, in, in that part of de decarbonization. Also a use of electrical vehicles. Storage, as Jürgen mentioned, comes into play very heavily because you need, to, uh, you need to store your excess energy, you need to manage your grid, so storage and integration of storage is a very uh, key point and also integration of el electrical vehicles. And coming to the last D, the digitalization, this is the key element in order to get all that complex world managed. And here SMA is coming into play because we are offering the entire system solution to manage that complex world for our customers, for our installers, for the end user. Now, to be able to offer seamlessly integrated solutions, I can imagine that a huge portfolio is necessary. Is that so? At least it is large. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we have all the elements uh, in the portfolio what you need to manage this decentral world. 
So starting with the pure generation of solar power, this is where we're coming from. Here is our DNA, here is our core business, here is the inverter. And we will see all over the day uh, news about that. Matthias will have the latest entry yeah. in, in that world with, with the core two. But also with the core component of the inverter, we will have a lot of integrated software and management features in that. For example, a shade management with, with a shade fix, for example, operation and maintenance support for the installer with smart connected. So this is the core. And around that core, <laughs> we are building the entire system and, and solution for, for the uh, installations. And storage asset is a key component. Whether we are being uh, compatible and, ordered in and able to manage the storage, or we have the storage within our system package by ourselves, you can buy it directly. Whatever, if it's external from a quality vendor or, or internal from SMA, you can be assured that it's totally managed within our system environment. Manage energy, Jürgen mentioned it before, it was one of the questions. NXOS is the key platform for managing the energy. This is our IoT backbone, which is a cross-segment uh, energy management platform, and it's being constantly uh, further developed. So for a home segment, for example, with the home manager, we are, we are the one, uh, the first one having it introduced it, and this is a key element, and we have 70,000 units deployed in the field with uh, home energy management, so we are cl clearly the leader. We also have that in business segment, we have it in large-scale segment, so this is the key. Refuel with solar power. Charging is part of our s system solution, but not only charging, not only the hardware, like Jürgen said, AC charger for, uh, for uh, home segment or DC charger for business segment. We are managing the entire charging. We are doing the integration with our NXOS platform into the household, into the businesses. This is where, uh, where we are, and this is how we are supporting, let's say, the, the electrical vehicle integration uh, as part, as integral part of our <coughs> system solution. Heating. So SMA is not providing electrical heating, but SMA is providing the ability to connect the PV with the electrical heating in order to get the most efficient supply of uh, renewable energy into the heating to get, get the most, uh, to make the most use of your uh, own produced energy by an excess. And selling solar power, last but not least, this is the part where we have started a while ago in, in Germany in order to, to, to market excess energy. Uh, but we will also further develop that kind of product in order to make use of it also in the home segment and or further develop it in, in business segment also in, in, in the large scale funnel. Is there, um, are there further solutions that SMA offers uh, in addition to these components that you just mentioned? You know, we are in a constant development of the entire portfolio to make it better, to make it m a better fit towards uh, the new energy world. So as said, the base is always our components, everything around in Word with the integrated features. The second layer is this, the service uh, we, are, we are offering for our customers, for our installer, for the end customer. And the top of the pyramid is the software. This is the part where everything gets, everything comes together, everything gets m managed. And uh, also we are offering, for example, with our daughter company in Munich, with the, with the Corneva GmbH, we are offering also managed service, for example, for electrical vehicle fleets to manage the charging of entire, entire fleets, uh, manage the billing for home, for work, etc. This is one of the latest things, and also we will hear something about that later. Mm -hmm. Now, one last question for you quickly. What are the solutions that you offer? You mentioned installers. Are there solutions that you have for installers especially to uh, really keep it simple for them? We have. <laughs> the installer, I um, must clearly say it, is for us the most important part in the entire value chain. Because uh, the installer, he is the one, let's say, who manages the complexity at the end. He's the one getting the components, need to put the components and get them running. And here we are uh, supporting the installer with our approach, which is called SMA 360 professional support. We are supporting you as an installer 
from the acquisition phase to the installation phase towards the phase of operation and maintenance in, in the 360 manner with all the tools the tool and the latest entries in our tool chain, what we have developed, for example, with Smart Connected, with uh, Sunny Design Pro, with uh, the new commissioning support, etc., to make the business of the installer more efficient and better and uh, ma make the get the ability to uh, have that complex world also into an installation. And the access point of that is, and we hear later in, in, in the session today about that, the new app as an A360. <coughs> We're going to be talking story. about that, yeah, a yes. little bit later. So we've got a couple minutes left. Nick, if you're ready, let's uh, go to the Q&A and let's see what questions our viewers from yes. across the globe have uh, lined up for you. So questions for Nick in our Q&A coming up on the screen in just a second. So they're not on our screen yet, but oh, here, ah, here they are. Now, Nick, why is SMA now branding a Chinese inverter to launch the core tool? That's a good question, and it's important to ask that question and to uh, we have a transparently uh, answer that one. You know, uh, we're in a world w under extremely high cross cost pressure. And, uh, what w and on the parallel path, we need to develop new things like software, like the management platform, etc., in order to support the new world of, of energy. In that world, the leaders, and with the good fit, need to raise economies of scale within the industry to finally have a better and most co cost-efficient solution for our customers. When we are branding inverter, it does not mean that not the, the heart of the inverter is not SMA. It, that means uh, we are getting it produced from a, from a second source, but everything which is software, everything which is integration within our system environment, everything which is quality, reliability, testing, is SMA. And SMA is the one bringing it in, into the market, and SMA is the one being reliable for the product taking the warranty and taking the service of the product. So it is an SMA product produced by, by a second, uh, by, a, by another vendor, which has a very good fit within our industry and to leverage economies of scale. This is the key element here. It's got the heart and soul of SMA. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, we have uh, one minute left. Let's see if we have another question from our Q&A board. Um, let's see if there's a question coming in. Viewers with us from around the world typing into our interactive area now. This is your moment to ask Nick Moorbach a question. And um, those questions are making their way to us now. Sometimes it takes <laughs> yeah, a minute. That's a long, long way, long right? <laughs> 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 yeah, there were three already. We, we saw three questions. Um, mm, no, they're gone. But they uh, they went for a little walk. I recall the, the second question was um, what is happening in, in technology on inverters. Mm. That was the second question. What's the next breakthrough in, in the world of inverters? I would say, uh, beside the one, uh, the introduction we are seeing today, the next break breakthrough will be our new home solution inverter. But it's not just an inverter. So it's an entire fleet of inverters for the global application. And it's also, it's the completely new home solution. So we, we are renewing over the next years and we will start uh, end, end, of, end of next year with the renew renewing of the entire home portfolio. So not just the inverter, it's the, the energy management platform, the storage, the charging, and everything which comes in the, in the SMA system solution. Fantastic. Now, if there's any more questions you have for Nick, Nick will be answering them later on uh, right. throughout the day. Um, so if you had a question and we didn't get to it now, it surely will be answered a little bit later. Thank you very much, we'll Nick. And with to. that, thank you. Matthias, I get to, to you. Let us now yeah. have a closer look at some new products. It was kind of the perfect segue uh, from uh, Nick. Now, which highlights would you like to present to us today? Yeah, thank you, Kimsey. Um, yeah, you touched products, and uh, I would say product is really the key word. And as we have seen the previous speakers, uh, Jürgen and Nick, um, 
that we are not talking about only single products. So this is more that we are talking about uh, yeah, the systems, the system offerings SMA is doing. And this is now and also in the course of the sessions we have later today always the key element. So the single product, how is it faced and how is it uh, deployed in our total system. And uh, the first product here, which then fits also to the system is, yeah, we have heard about that, the brand new Sunny Tripower Core 2, our, our brand new flagship. And uh, yeah, we have already had the first question before we really talked about that. So that, that makes me yeah, really uh, happy because we see that, yeah, I would say the market uh, is there, the interest is there, and the people are talking already about the product. Um, and um, yeah, we want to we wanna clear up all the rumors are going around there because the rumors don't help us. So we will give the clear messages and answers about that brand new product. And uh, that, that brand new product is, let's say, the features and the benefits of that product are really based on the three main pillars, the keywords here, which is more options, more integration, and more performance. And uh, you may ask, hey, what does it mean? Where are the benefits in there? And I would say um, yeah, we have prepared something for our customers, uh, a short video clip. And I would like to yeah, say, let's get it started. Let's and get started. let's see what's behind that three pillars. The new Sunny TriPower Core 2 brings greater flexibility to system design. System planners benefit from maximum flexibility in string design, which allows them to implement different commercial systems up to the megawatt range very easily and conveniently. As a key component of the energy system business, the SMA inverter enables modular expansion according to specified requirements, all coordinated from a single source. Systems with the new Sunny TriPower Core 2 manage without DC combiner. This means that installation and commissioning are completed very quickly. The smart integrated SMA features optimize energy yield right from the start and throughout the entire life of the system. Wow, that was a fantastic video. Thank you so much, Matthias. We're going to find out a lot more about the Sunny TriPower Core 2 just a little bit later. Yeah, for but sure. I Th have the next question for you. Now, Nick spoke about uh, solutions for charging e-vehicles and stationary storage systems. Can you please tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, for sure. And uh, you touched that uh, just a few wo more words for the core two, because this is my session now uh, after that one, so starting at nine o'clock. And what is really key, uh, the last sentence I would say to that product before we come to the EV chargings. So uh, the core two, this is really definitely a product you just get by SMA. So this is SMA hardware and software integrated. So you have seen the 12 MPP trackers, a feature set, what is unique for in the market, unique and only available for at SMA. And all the details about that one will come later in my session at 9 o'clock then. I uh, hope you all get started there and be in there. So now coming to the uh, EV charging solutions for home and um, business and uh, companies. And uh, we touched that also in the previous talks with Nick and Jürgen uh, about the importance. And everybody is talking about the electric vehicles, so it's get more and more popular. Everybody what's would like to have a car. And yeah, having a car is good, but you always need to have uh, the charging solutions for that one. And starting here right now on the left side here, we can see our offerings, our solutions for the uh, chargings, for the homes, homeowners, for the residentials. And uh, here again, uh, the system is key. So a wall box, uh, how that uh, unit is mostly called, uh, a simple wall box you can buy everywhere. So this is, this is a, a no-brainer. But the key message is here, you have to have an integration into the, homes, into the home system. We see home uh, manager we have here. And um, to get more out of the system, so the intelligence is behind the system we have in there. For example, fast charging solutions, or also, let's say, um, weather forecast-based, prognosis-based charging of your, of your cars. And this is uh, yeah, where we definitely differentiate uh, from our 
I would say, competitors. We get more about that uh, in the sessions with my colleagues later on today, definitely. Um, if you look now in the middle here, in the middle pillar, and uh, we can see, and this is a brand new information today as well, so not only for the homeowners and the home, homes uh, charging solutions we have here, we also have now a charging solution for our, yeah, I would say, um, yeah, commercial applications for companies where you have a bunch of cars, a fleet of cars uh, which need to be charged. Uh, and uh, this is really getting complicated because you get to be managed everything. Uh, and managing is, again, the key factor here, not only the pure hardware, but the whole system again. And, uh, yeah, we have now here the new uh, um, charging solution with uh, up to 22 kilowatt two times on a charging station, which definitely uh, fits all the requirements we see in the round, in the circle of the commercial applications of charging fleets. And uh, then uh, we can see here on the right side um, that not only the, the charging of electrical vehicles is important, but also uh, the storage. So let's say the stationary storage uh, we have and uh, therefore, SMA also has an offering, which we yeah, definitely introduced last year during InterSolar, and we developed it more and more over the, the last months, um, which is uh, our Sunny Tri Power storage solution uh, with the, the SMA storage in the back. And with the stationary storage solution, yeah, you, we will open the range of getting more applications and more business cases for our, our customers. Um, for example, uh, we are talking about yeah, uh, self-consumption increase for sure. So shifting the consumption or let's say shifting the energy which we produce by day from PV into the night so to, that we can also uh, yeah, power our consumers with PV energy in the night times out of the storage. But also very, uh, let's say, attractive yeah, applications like peat load shaving. And this is also, yeah, um, I would say, an application where a lot of our customers can make business in the future. So this is again the trend, so that with our systems and our yeah, components, which you can add every time, also on the later stage, we are future-proof for future business. And uh, yeah, this is again uh, the differentiator with SMA in our whole system approach we are touching. Now, one important topic today will be the 360 app. Can you briefly talk about that before we get to the Q&A with you? Yeah, for sure. And the 360 app was also mentioned uh, by Nick in his session. So the 360, what, what is behind that? Why 360? So 360 is really to having the customer in the focus and going around the whole, I would say, customer journey we have. So the digitalization, the 3D was one of it. And here now, finally, we have it. So what is in there? So if you have the new um, app, which is again, oh, not again, which is still available now since uh, I would say the beginning of May and a lot of installers have already downloaded it. So uh, we are on the whole customer chain. So starting with the planning uh, of, the, of the PV plants at the customer on site, then going to the operation of the inverters or of the whole system, make the commissioning of it and also doing the services. This is now all included in just one app. And all that is connected to our sunny design right from the beginning, from the planning, and also to the sunny portal while having the operation of the system and making the operational, yeah, and also the servicing of that one. So the whole approach, the whole value chain of our customers is now integrated in that professional app. Now, I do still have a bunch of questions, and you also brought a short clip yes. uh, for this app, but time is actually running out. Whoa. So. Um, because we still have two minutes, so I would say we skip the clip of 36 seconds. And uh, just one last question for me before we get to the Q&A. That was the professional app, yeah. 360. Now, what about the end customers? Yeah, so also the end customers yeah, and app is what everybody is using. And they are asking, hey, is there an, uh, an app coming? And definitely you are asking uh, also. We can say yes. So uh, we will, uh, we will uh, really launch a new app for the end customers. And you get more insights about that from our product uh, managers later in the sessions today. We have uh, here, for instance, Ben Blaurock. We will talk you more about and inform more about that one. Now we've got a minute and a half for you to answer five questions, wow. <laughs> which we have on our screen. I think <laughs> that's, that's uh, going to be a little bit tough. So um, let's see which one of those five can you answer in this short time. Uh, we can start up uh, with, with the, the top. Number let's, one. Let's okay. There. So are there plans to increase MPPT input of the inverter? So. Um, Mm, so with, with the new core 2, uh, we have now 12 MPP trackers. And that uh, on an inverter with 110 kilowatt, I would say this is really 
really huge. This is really flexible, and you can have, all, yeah, let's say, face all the issues you you would like have with shading, etc. So at the moment, no. So 12 is at the moment that maximum we are providing, and this is really. Sorry, you're feeling really rushed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> So just to let you know, ladies and gentlemen, the questions that we received from Matthias, Matthias will be answering them a little bit later on in your own time via email, not rushed, so you can really get to, to all the different points. Right? Do you agree? Yes, for okay. sure. Fantastic. You will answer so everything. <laughs> maybe maybe just take one more breath. And with that, ladies and gentlemen... Make the question number two, maybe 20 seconds? Yeah, go yeah. for it. You would read it? Okay. Is Shade Optimizer inbuilt inside the Core 2 inverter? What is Core 2 AC voltage? Is the system designed for Europe or to the international market? And I make it really, really fast. And okay. uh, then uh, hopefully everybody <laughs> joins at 9 o'clock. So the AC voltage is 400 volt. Um, it is uh, also for the international markets, not only for Europe. And key ele element is here, there are no optimizers in the system. In SMA, we have no optimizers. So everything is integrated into our inverters. <laughs> You're fantastic, <Yeah. laughs> Matthias, that was great. So now you can take one more breath and I have a final lightning round for all three gentlemen. You have the opportunity in this final lightning round to express one core statement and if you want, you can express it straight to the camera. Jürgen, I'll start with you. Yeah, I mean, um, I'm very, very happy that we have this format now here to address our customers, our distributors, um, also the installer, of course, indirectly then over the distributors. This is very important for us. Um, we want to be there for you. We want to be available. We will answer all questions. So very happy to have you. And please come in with all your questions. And um, if that is not answered, just give us a call. Nick, over to you. Sustainability is a key element and part of DNA of SMA. SMA is here to stay. You can rely on us. Thank you very much. And Matthias, over to you. Yeah, um, so um, I would say to our customers, so you have seen, you have seen the, the system offerings we have, and I'm really convinced that the offerings we are having um, are really um, yeah, facing the demand and the requirements you are having in the markets. So SMA is the right partner for you. Gentlemen, thank you very much, not only for your statements, but also for your keen insights. So thank you so much for, for your attention and see you very soon right here on Let's Talk Energy. Power on. <laughs>